Magma Sal, thanks for the three months. Agbomo show to you as well. a coffee drinker, Amanatoi. I drink some of the beers from the Seattle area. Seattle's got a pretty sweet beer scene, but I don't drink coffee at all. Four cracks, thanks for the nine months. Uncle to you as well. I never played Dauntless, I don't believe, Lamb Jakey's. Binging Guild Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways face. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna go play some real life. Or possibly Rocket League. Probably Rocket League, right? You wanna make video games, and your video game friend told you that Seattle was okay. It's getting more expensive to live here, but it's certainly a place for game devs and the like. real life. Uh, it's a post-apocalyptic simulator. Bane Endless Agony Finisher. Finisher can be a really fun floor one card. But I think Endless Agony is probably just better right now. Stop. Ooh, Face of Cleric's nice. I'm gonna try skipping the store since I'm pretty sure I'm going to this one. Also, now hallway fights give me max HP, so there's a little bit extra reason to go to them. What does Face of Cleric do? We get plus one max HP at the end of every fight. It's not exactly OP. It's like a delayed mango, but it's decent. It's okay. No well laid plans. I need a big damage card from here or I can't take that elite fight. That's not true by OpTV. Who Seattle is named after is, uh, significantly more depressing than that. It is lamb chickies. Skewer is sort of a damage card. Maybe even more than sort of. Anyone twenty nine thirty two. Any restaurant recommendations in Seattle? Jeez. I'm not a good person to ask that question of. I 
If I were playing off stream, well, there's your first problem, Mr. Potatoes. There's your first problem. Uh, no, I wouldn't restart. There's like very little point in playing this game if you're just gonna restart when things that you don't like happen, in my humble opinion. egg is pretty sweet. Let's take a blade dance for enough damage. Not actually that good against Lagavulin though. It turns off so fast. Let's take a dodge and roll instead. Fuck, I think I have to upgrade Skewer. Well laid plans, this should be good, I think. Right? I think so. The only place in Seattle that I can think of that's like, oh, this was different from restaurants I've eaten at in other places was a place that I don't remember the name of where they did completely vegan food in Fremont? That was pretty good. I'm not a person who typically eats only vegan, but it was like there was one... One meal per night and everyone hung out and ate together and the chef like answered questions about the food and explained it all. Seem to have crushed that elite fight. It was not Gordon Ramsay, no. It was definitely not Gordon Ramsay. Nice, with the dodge and roll, the crippling cloud, like, adds pretty nicely to the deck, I would say. I think it's a bit better than the burst. Kunai Cloak and Dagger. Kunai Cloak and Dagger Blade Dance, even. The only thing I don't like about that is I don't get to remove a strike. Kunai Blade Dance card remove? Maybe that's better. Removing a strike seems like it might be better than having a Cloak and Dagger. Oh, it's exact gold? How can I say no to that, then? 
Actually, I can't even Cloak and Dagger Blade Dance. So it's either Cloak and Dagger or Blade Dance plus card remove. Yeah, that seems better. Seems quite a bit better. Jorbs wins! I guess stacking pendibs the only thing left about this fight. Looks like a very one fight. Plus was better than the skip there? I think so. Probably. Alright, we got Pendant ready to go again. And Venom seems pretty sweet right now. Like, out of all the times that Envenom does anything, this is probably the time that it does something. I didn't say that very articulately, but I feel like <laughs> hopefully people understand what I'm saying. Oh nice, we got that Velvet Choker. So I'm not taking Choker, I don't think. I'll take one of these. And then just go ahead and die on a bad Act 2 map. Seems sweet. Well, we can try to get through this act.
Bernard, hello, thanks for the 17 months. Song Boom will show to you as well. I had penned it with Skira, I know. I was being attacked for 21. Like, that wasn't even just like a little bit of a bad play, that was like... What? You want me to just deal 60 to it and take 21? What? Um, alright, anyway. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Calculated Gamble Plus is probably okay. We'll see. Ooh. Okay. Now the deck might actually just kill Elites. Even on 3 energy. Flightless Rock, thanks for the two months. I'll give a show to you as well. This is an eight health energy potion. I think we can do better. No crippling cloud. Crippling cloud defend ends up being better than skewer, probably. It's only seven damage. Can I take accuracy here? Maybe. No. Gold stolen back. Token dagger seems pretty good in this deck. Giveaway and Venom. Thanks for hanging out in Venom. Uh, sorry it didn't work out. I think I'm actually okay with that. Collector. Since Collector, we don't really need to scale damage with a kunai. New thanks for the two months. Agmomo show to you as well.
I think the Switch version of the game might need a bit of work still, Dr. Jeeves. Maybe just a touch. I'm gonna take a finisher. It's not even upgraded. Don't even care. Two blade dances, a cloak and dagger, plus an endless agony. That's a good finisher, if I ever saw one. Plus a pendant. That seems sweet. Let's start fighting elites. <laughs> oh yeah. How does this work? 18, 22, 26, 30, 24, 54 damage in my hand. Where the dolphins come? I fucking love dolphins, though. Doesn't sound bad at all. I will greet them with my dolphin mating cry. <clears throat> Excuse me. So sorry. I just, I just get excited sometimes. <laughs> I don't hang out with any dolphins, you might be surprised. You might be surprised what gets you ahead in those circles. Dreamcatcher Tori. Ooh. Rippling Cloud is definitely a strong enough card to be taking, even though it doesn't fit into like the finisher thing or the pendib thing or the kunai thing. It fits into the Crippling Cloud thing. That's a pretty good thing, it turns out. article about the woman who fell in love with the dolphin. That's actually why I stopped reading. Up until then I thought reading was great, but yeah, that article was enough for me. You're worried about this fight? Tori makes this fight a lot better for us. Very large amount better for us. It's gonna hit for 40. Feels like it's better though. Okay. So I just took two crippling clouds. No, I just took a second crippling cloud. I'm wondering if I don't get to take Deflect, because I just sort of need to draw better cards than that. More impactful cards than that. I'm gonna take the Deflect anyway, I think. I 
I literally... Oh, it would upgrade Survivor. So I can upgrade Survivor or I can take a key. I'm going to go ahead and take a key. Thank you for your service, Warpaint. a timeline where I take setup plus. I took setup plus like last month. It wasn't even that long ago. Either dolphin chemist. The dolphin chemist. Thank you very much for the host. Hope your FTL went splendidly tonight. The dolphin chemist is a sinister surfer from Southern California. When he's not cruising the waves, he's sailing the skies. He's one of the best FDL players known to man. How's it going, Dolphin? Dolphin is an excellent streamer. Good friend of mine. D&D &D buddy. A uh, very accomplished Slay the Spire player himself. I'm just reading his OK Cupid. Look, it's the background on my phone. And honestly, it's 2019. There's nothing wrong with that. How was FTL treating you tonight, Dolphin? Feels like no matter what I do, I'm wasting a ton of damage here. We're playing a little Slay the Spire tonight. I may have a Pendib and a Kunai and a bunch of spam attack things in this deck. It may be a pretty, pretty sweet deck. I don't want to talk it up too much, but uh, it's pretty sweet. Three O on the NGB Fed C and Stealth C, so they took the playable ships out of the game. I see. You know, I've long thought that the game would be improved with no playable ships in it. Is it feeling good? Is it feeling better? It must be. Call that good. Gremlin Leader is buffing himself a concerning amount, but as long as he never actually attacks me, that doesn't really matter very much. And I think I'll be able to kill next turn with Finisher, almost certainly. There's even a possibility I don't get attacked next turn either. 21 times 3, that's all you got. That's all he's got. That's it. That's, that's the entire attack. This is a very good burst plus deck. I wonder if Flechettes is any good. I don't currently have, like, I have a bunch of skills, right? So Flechettes will have a big number of skills in hand, but then it will deal 16 damage, and that's what it will do. So it's like, it's trying to be good. I used to have an Venom. If I had an Venom still, it might be worth having. Just take the burst. The burst seems incredible. If any of you came from Dolphin and don't know me, I am Jorbs. My name is Steven. 
I stream predominantly Slay the Spire here at Twitch.tv, but I have been known to play many other games. I have an FTL no pause hard streak of 23 or something myself, I believe. Played a lot of XCOM back in the day, and we chill out on channel and play stuff like Stardew Valley and different games. This is a channel where I try very hard to play very difficult games and play them well, and uh, then the rest of the time we meme in games like Stardew Valley, basically. Anyway, I like to think it's a pretty comfy place. You're more than welcome here. Our in Jesus wept. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Uncle Bomo show to you as well. I don't really want these cards right now. Hmm. I'm sure I want these more than those though. Phantom Dust is a first-person shooter card game, and you also mentioned Dark Souls 2. I am so confused. I'm like a two-year-old who's seeing too many lights at the same time. What does that mean? It's the Dark Souls of games that are compared to Dark Souls. What does it mean? This guy's super dead. every game is Dark Souls. Well, that's good. As long as they want to be Dark Souls, right? In 32... Dark Souls Souls is the Dark Souls of Dark Souls. I've never played Dark Souls. I'm loath to admit that, because I feel like somebody's gonna, you know, donate... I don't know... Uh, maybe five or six hundred dollars get me to play. <laughs> How much was the yacht, Caitlin? She'll get back to me. Um... Yeah, I've never played any of the Dark Souls games, though. I'm trying to work out if I want Blur or Piercing Whale right now. So... I have a Tori which makes the thing that Piercing Whale does, where the heart doesn't deal damage to you, like, much less relevant than usual. And I have a Kunai and a Well Laid Plans, which makes the thing that Blur does, like, very strong. In general, I would say that Piercing Whale is the better card by a significant margin. I do also have a couple of Crippling Clouds, which do something a little bit comparable to what Piercing Whale does. Mm. It is my first Piercing Whale. I'm not sure I can pass my first Piercing Whale. The cards are just too good. We'll get a blur from somewhere else maybe, or just get another dodge and roll that's probably enough to... <laughs> Problem with playing Dark Souls Blind on Twitch is the massive amount of backseating. Wouldn't they just be like, like telling me to press the buttons better and then I was like, mm, I'm trying and then I wouldn't be able to because like isn't, don't you have to press the buttons well? Isn't that the game? I don't know. I guess I've never played it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I don't know. I'm infamous. Thanks for the 300 bits. Much appreciated. They would tell me where to go. I'm not even sure I would mind that. 
like games which are difficult because you can't work out where to go just seem sort of bad, I guess. What is enjoyable about not being able to work out where to go in a game? I don't know. I don't get it. There are secret passages and shit. Yeah, there might be reasons that I haven't played Dark Souls or any of the other Dark Souls. Although I do play Slay the Spire, which is the Dark Souls of card games, so... I don't know where that leaves us. It would tell me how to build? That also doesn't seem terrible at all. I don't know, none of this... <laughs> None of this seems particularly bad. Thanks for the 50-bit Scarlet Honey. You're meant to explore and immerse yourself in the world. That's fair. That's sort of how I treat Twitch chat, honestly. Like, nobody tells me which ones the good comments are, and I just wander around. Just exploring all of them. How many hours did I put into the return of Oberdin? The return of the Oberdin? Return of the Oberdin. It says 25 hours. I think my playthrough was only like 12 though, right? I think I spent three hours on it on a 24 hour stream, like an hour and a half on it on my own, 12 hours on my playthrough, and then I must have just like had the game open for a bunch of extra time. I wanna be a billionaire, so fucking bad. Hey, Anonymous. Light switch for the yacht. Thank you very much for the $20 donation. I have the best light switches. I do have all the best light switches. I already have one deflect. Maybe another calculated gamble. Calculated gamble is like sort of sweet with um, shiv creating cards because you make a bunch of shivs then discard them and draw better cards. But I don't have a backflip or an acrobatics. So a lot of the time it's just drawing me four. I think I might just skip. I don't think I want a second deflect right now. Is there a reason to go to a campfire? That's weird. I could upgrade dagger throw. I have like never felt never felt so unimpressed before. Yeah, the career seems way better than upgrading dagger throw. Sick. <laughs> I think taking the ninja scroll for plus one dex on turn one, and also massive finishers on turn one if I draw finisher turn one, that seems pretty good. I think taking the malaise is pretty damn good too. That'll help for the act three bosses. Funnel's pretty sweet. Something that Funnel would do would be it would finish stripping artifact charges from the Act 4 Elite Fight, which would let me malaise the Act 4 Spire Spear. That's what it's called, right? The first time I drew malaise with no problems, and that could be pretty valuable. I think I'm just... I'm doing so much stuff with these. Also, the fact that I have a calculated gamble makes the ninja scroll a lot better because I can discard them sometimes. If I uh, need to just get through my deck and find better things, so it can be a draw three sometimes if I draw the calculated gamble turn one. And decide that I'd rather draw three than play the ships. In this case, I'm just going to play the shivs, though.
Why didn't I play finisher? Because I spent my energy doing other things. And the other things were more important. damage for you there. You're welcome, Quaffles. Prince, thanks for the three months. Ogmomo show to you as well. I'm being attacked for 18 by those, and will continue to be until the fight ends, basically. It's a bit concerning. It's a lot concerning. Alright, good act. The stack really, like, got strong, that act. Wow. Wow, there's some stuff here. Probably just corpse explosion. Nightmare doesn't really do very much, right? Nightmare malaise. Whatever. Busted crown? Sure. Feels like the deck's already just about good enough to win. Four energy should be great. Good night, Star Clover. have question card to mitigate the downside of busted crown. Giant brain Jorb strikes again. I don't know if I'm meant to take Caltrops. Feels like the one thing we might not have is 
enough sustained damage to kill the heart, and Caltrop certainly does a lot of that. Let's take it. But Jorbs, how will you mitigate the downside of Busted Crown? Haha, <laughs> fear not. I have just the thing. Mr. Spokes. Hmm. I don't know if you're trolling or didn't watch the video, Darken Avatar. Or maybe you watched the video and just didn't understand it. That's okay. You shouldn't feel bad about that. Chirps, how do you do it? How are you so condescending without seeming to be rude? <laughs> Alright, anyway. How I say I'm meant to is if it's all predetermined. Mm. I say I'm meant to because there is some correct path through my run that I am trying to find. All I can do is try my best. Ooh, I only got one of them. Let's have this one then. I have to time you out for that. Okay. That just made me physically ill. I didn't even read it, it just made me ill to see it. So. Oof! Turning it into, into a command is a reasonable, uh, a reasonable solution. Huh. <laughs> Good play. <laughs> Good play, me. Good play. That was, that was a pat on the back moment if I've ever seen one. Enos Penby, how do you unstuff your left ear? Um, there's over-the-counter stuff that you can get that will help with that if it's a regular problem for you. actually blocks unless I'm doing the math wrong that actually blocks like 17 damage or 
16 damage? I'm probably doing the math wrong. Anyway, that seemed like about the best that a block potion could ever be, so... Counter unstuff. Yeah, exactly. Smooth stone seems like a nice one to have. Let's grab the ruby key so we can do whatever we want at our campfire at the end of the run. Oh, fuck everything. Fuck. 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 Alright. Well, that's a store. <laughs> I mean, it's still actually a pretty good store even though we're about 600 gold short of buying all of the good things in it. Ah. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but yeah. Oh. I like one of these. I think I might not be taking fumes. Piercing whale? Fine. All of my gold is gone. My gold, it's gone. twice. Good fight! Good fight. Man... I'll take another leg sleep. I guess it's probably fine. Exactly does face of cleric work? At end of combat raise your max HP by one. Unless you're dead. In which case you do not raise your max HP. The relics never bother to specify that, and it's very misleading. Very misleading.
If you die, you never leave the room. That's morbid and sort of unsettling. I wonder how many people have died in this room. It's like a relatively new apartment. I'm gonna guess between... between zero and one. Probably inclusive. I don't know if acrobatics or escape plan is better. Acrobatics plus seems really good. It's the only card I have in the deck that does that, basically. Escape plan also seems pretty damn good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it almost always hits. It seems really good. Is it possible to get Dead Branch still? No, we saw it at a store earlier. Seems really good. But we can still get a letter opener. Yay! Yay! Unfortunately, that well laid plans uh, makes it so we're taking six instead of one, but it's worth having in play. Escape plan, no. Escape plan, why? Why escape plan? Why? So this is hitting for 10 times 4 right now. My burst malaise will go to 2 times 4 down to 1 times 4. Sick. I think Malaise might just mitigate Awakening the one. Here's a question, does dealing enough damage to kill Awakened One mitigate Awakened One? Probably, right? It seems like it would. Does anyone else ever just eat steak with a fork like it's ice cream? There's a lot to unpack there. I've got to believe that there's somebody out there for you, though, you know? I think there's someone out there for sure.
I'm quitting uh, streaming and going into musical theater. I had been meaning to save the announcement for later, but after that performance, I think it's obvious to everyone. You've eaten ice cream with a fork? Honestly, a knife and fork is like... If you're eating ice cream that is well frozen, a knife and fork is just a better way to do it. It's not meant to be a personal attack or anything, it's just a truth about the world. To become a karaoke streamer first. That's what everybody else is doing. No, 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 no. You're not gonna make it by doing what everybody else is doing. That's just not... That's just not how the world works. Who among us has not sat there waiting for the ice cream to melt enough to scoop it? Or like, like, run the ice cream scoop under hot water or something like that? Put the ice cream in the microwave? You've all done it. You've all done it. I'm not accusing. I'm just... This is a thing that we share as humans. And I'm just saying that if you just use a knife and fork, sometimes it's easier. It's wonderful, Enos Penby. That's that's incredible and wonderful. I'm so happy that you are you. You simply buy soft serve. Well, hot damn. Look at you. This is what it's like to not be able to relate to normal people anymore because you've made it. is ready to go. Damage output seems slow for the heart. Fortunately, we've got five thorns, and the heart does like to attack you. Quite a lot. Oh no, what will my deck that creates 13 dexterity and has a malaise in it do against the time meter? No deck with infinite blades has ever survived this fight. Perhaps this will be the first time ever. Did I really never hit with escape plan in that fight? That's pretty sweet. I gotta say, that's pretty sweet. Oh, did I say infinite blades instead of blade dance? Yeah, I don't know. I've never actually played with the shift cards before. They seem terrible.
I had one accuracy. Wasn't that, um... That was the Scarecrow's song in, uh, The Wizard of Oz, right? I think so. Value is your middle name. My middle name is Hellhound. Ow! Excuse me. Scarecrow was the one looking for the golden ticket. Yes, I believe so. That's yeah. That's hmm. <sighs> the tattered remnants of my childhood. Yep, that's correct. huge. That was huge right there. Escape plan can work. We've seen it happen. We have proof. a very, very dangerous fight, Zephyr. I think we're gifting a sub to Legos R. Bumo show to the both of you. Is the bot not subscribed to Nikolai Critical Motion Motion right now? Can we... I am not comfortable with that. The thump, the thump, the thump. That is the deep pulsing dread. Man, it's lucky we didn't have to fight Time Eater, because um, that fight would have been impossible for this deck. Fuck! This store has a bunch of really good stuff too. This is terrible. I think maybe I just remove the strike though. Blade Dance seems worse because of the beat of death, right? Maybe it's good anyway. Huh. 
What is that blue new relic second from the left? Unfortunately, I left the store already, but it was probably terrible. We'll go with that. Neutralize Crippling Cloud Corpse Explosion. Oh, cleric face, yes, gotcha. Need an energy potion. Need several things. I love that I have two well laid plans in my uh, deck and I just fucking power potion for another one. Card is really good. Card is really, really good. You did it, you made a shit post. What was it like, Robo Terrarian? What was it like when you made a shit post? Hey Veritas, how are you doing tonight? I certainly retain five cards. <laughs> I certainly do retain five cards. Hmm. Yeah, that acrobatics that I was thinking about taking <laughs> could have been good right around now, it feels like. We did it. I'm so proud. I'm so fucking proud. Hard counters strength down. It certainly does. It certainly, certainly does. Yeah. And Nib's ready to go. The enemies are dead. I got a Sneko skull. That's probably pretty. Fifty-seven health for the heart life. See how this goes. 
Turn one Caltrop's leg sweep is pretty sweet. Pretty decent. Seem to have located the problem. Plus one health to play. Jesus, fuck. That's not great. Death seems like the reasonable expectation here. Okay, that's good. Probably better for Pendant to be on 7 than 8. Taking another one to play like this?
Imagine being able to rely on escape plan for block next turn. Imagine living in such a world. I think I have to corpse explosion for damage and then we hold piercing whale dodge and roll. It's the big attack that's more of a deal than the small attack or multi-attack rather. But this is... only 38? What the fuck? Deck, why? Why deck? Are you serious? Hmm, guess I'm just dead. Well, that's unfortunate. Gave it our best shot. We were a little bit slow out of the gate for Act 4, though, with that one. Eh, I really didn't need much more to win. But I didn't get it. <laughs>